What up guys, Mike G with MDG Collections on hand. Today, March 14th, 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be a video on my pivot head camera sunglasses. What they are, they're camera glasses. They're made for whatever you want. POV driving videos, skiing, bike riding, whatever you wanna do, all right? They come in a nice case and a leather case like this, Architect Edition. It comes with a nice microfiber cloth inside and they come with a lot of different things. They come with uh, interchangeable lenses, the sunglass lens, and then there's also, when you pop these out, uh, the box at home, there's uh, clear lenses that you can use, I guess, if you wanted to use them at night. But they, uh, they're they pretty cool. They have a decent amount of technology. They have swipe to start recording, swipe again to stop recording. Uh, the button, the power button is on the inside right here, that little button right there, that's the power button. And then there's LED lights that come on at the top right here so you can look up and see what's what's going on. If you see a blinking red light, that means that you're recording. So they're pretty cool to get that POV look, but what I found that you'll see in this video is when you're driving, you're looking around a lot in your mirrors, you're looking around side mirrors, boom, 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 like this, like crazy. And what happens is, is on, on playback, it's a little jerky, but I was trying to control my movements as much as possible, uh, but that's not easy, guys, because when you're trying to make sure, when you're trying to merge onto the highway from this very spot yesterday, is where I started off, and I'll show you guys that in a minute, how these came out. You will see the video 1080p, uh, from these uh, glasses uh, by 30 frames per second raw audio and video from these these glasses with the windows up All right guys, so let's take a little Pivot head POV drive to the gym March 13th 2018 1230 2 p.m. I bought these pivot head glasses camera glasses back in 2016 Christmas of 2016 and this Christmas that just passed of 2017 marked the year that I had them and ha have never used them so I bought these primarily for my channel to do POV videos like I'm finally giving you right now just to see how they would turn out you do have to remember you are wearing glasses so you have to be kind of controlled with, with your jerky movements as you actually turn your head people don't realize how much they jerk around until you put these glasses on and watch playback and it could get a little disturbing and a little annoying for the viewer to watch that so that's one of the main reasons why I was so apprehensive to use them but I guess it's just a little getting used to slowing your movements down when you're actually moving your head around and sometimes that's not easy because you just want to quickly move your head around to see your mirror to see if someone's coming you don't want to slowly move your head so in driving this can kind of throw you off a little bit but if you care about slowing it down for the viewer but if you don't care and just do like you regularly do I guess it wouldn't really throw you off so we're going to jump on the highway, just in eco mode, it's raining out, it's snowing earlier, so I'm not trying to go crazy, just want to get a POV video done with these pivot heads, just to say I got one done, see how it turns out with the audio and the video, 1080p is what they, it's what they shoot, it's what they film in, but I'm curious to see myself how this looks on playback, the experience you get. So right now I'm just on the highway and I'm going straight, so I don't really have to move my head too much left and right. But hands free as you guys can see. And in my mirror right here, there's my pivot head glasses. I guess whatever I can see is what you, what you guys will be able to see. So in my rear view mirror, there's two cars behind me one in the middle lane one in the far right lane so and you should be able to see that and you should be able to see at the same time what's in front of me I'm curious to see how that's gonna look on playback I wonder if it picks up all of that at the same time 
the cars behind me and the cars that you can see in front of me uh, because when I just move my eyes up and down I can see my mirror and I can see the road as I move my eyes quickly without having to move my head so just a short drive guys to see how these work see how they how they sound how how the audio sounds and just to see how jerky or non jerky this video comes out with me trying my best to control my movements as controlled as possible which is very unnatural but like I said I played around with them just never really made a real video just in my house and I was barely just doing my everyday natural movements and on playback it was all over the place so I can only imagine what it would be when you're driving on a highway trying to pay attention to other vehicles so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here I'm pretty much at my location that I'm trying to get to getting off at the exit now all right guys so that was the experience from the pivot head camera glasses uh, the architect edition as you saw I was trying my best in the video to not move my head as jerky as possible but you know it's just tough in playback I wanted to see how it was gonna look what I'll probably use these glasses for in the future is when I'm doing zero to sixties I have my GoPro like how I have it here on the glass whereas now I'm holding it doing this video but I'll have my GoPro on the glass facing me like how I do to capture the whole cabin and I'll have my glasses on where I can just mainly keep my head straight so I can give you guys the view of the dash with the glasses not having to move my head around too much and you'll be able to see me from the GoPro in the cabin. That's probably what I'll use them for in the future. Um, I don't see myself really using them too much to do full videos because it's just too jerky. But that's the review on them. I wanted to do a video for you guys. I bought them for that reason and still had never used them until yesterday. So. That's going to be it, guys, for today's video. Thanks to everyone who subscribed, guys. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button. If you liked this video, or if you didn't like this video, thumbs down, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a wrap.